next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC, and if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body, but it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high-level yeah. ones, everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 161 pounds. Fighting out of Pohang, South Korea, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, Mr. Untouchable. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, Superman punch. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. He's trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Watch the punch. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. What a punch. Oh, tag 
tags him with the jab on the counter. Unable to connect it. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Just over two minutes to go. Big powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. Two minutes to go in round one. Such a fast leg kick. Oh, nice. Big kick lands. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Beautiful body kick. And they separate. An elbow didn't open him up, but very well could have. That's a big strike right there. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Way to hide that leg kick. Finish. Nice loop and punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. Final seconds. Big kick lands. Round two is next. Great work. You won that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. I want to see you work. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's gotta go find that follow-up attempt, the kill shot. Is what they call it to go and end the fight. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Both 
fighters throwing heat now. Nice strike. Single collar tie now. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice straight punch. Over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Landed a big kick there. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. with that right hand. Oh, a huge block there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Three, two, three. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shin guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Good one. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Let's try to establish that jab. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Big knee there. Oh, man, another huge knee. That's hard to watch. Seconds winding down in round two. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, round three coming up next. Sit down. Take a deep breath. Now listen, you probably lost that round. I need you to be for All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you've got to really switch it up. With corner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. 
Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign for Paul. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how you stand up. I mean, when you can hit with a shot like that, to stay standing and shows and talk to your cup. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, he's going to shut your body off. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Hey. Beautiful punch. Lands with the knee to the body. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Put your hands up high. Look at him slip his hip into that kick. Right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. Wow, what a kick! Superman punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Beautiful strike. You gotta check these low leg kicks. As effective as straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feel something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Oh, buckled in there. Beautiful shot to the body. Nice punch, Lance. Watch knees to the body. Well, as my favorite rap group, Onyx, would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, there is lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Right hand punch with the clinch. Big leg kick land. that will finish the fight. Ziggy kick. Just missed with the left there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. 20 seconds left. Great punch. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Final seconds of round three. And a nice left hand there on the inside. If this guy doesn't move his head, his knife is about to end. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging 
than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Ooh, big shot, man. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Inside the octagon, where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 47 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mr. Archibald. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that'd be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you do it. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.